Today, we're making Asian sesame chicken. Now, this particular recipe is not a family recipe. I don't really even know where we got the recipe. Lisa and I have been making this since we were married. I mean, really since the beginning of when we got married. And it's a kind of a take on your typical chicken cutlet, only it has a little bit of an Asian twist with the dressing and with whatever we put in it. And instead of using just breadcrumbs, we put sesame seeds in the breadcrumbs and we fry the chicken that way. Because it's basically, basically a, a chicken cutlet dish, the kids love it. It's been one of their favorites forever. And you basically just put your, excuse me, your chicken in your egg wash. I marinate my chicken. Lisa actually taught me to do this. She saw it somewhere on the Food Network. She marinates her chicken in milk and it makes the chicken way more tender. So now that's the new thing. That's what we do now. We marinate our chicken in milk. But you marinate your chicken in milk, dip it in egg, then dip it in the breadcrumbs. And this particular time is the one of the very few times that I don't use EVOO to fry something in. Um, I don't want to take away from that light dressing that I'm going to put in with it's a canola oil instead. And it has less of a flavor. So you get more of the flavor from the Asian sesame chicken as opposed to just the flavor from the oil. I typically love the extra virgin olive oil, but not for this particular dish. So after, while I'm frying the chicken, and as that's cooking, I'll be making a salad. This is a salad. Um, it's, my family is a salad freaks, we're all salad freaks, and I am the salad queen. I have been making salads since I was in high school. We would come home for lunch, or we would have sleepovers when I was younger, and everyone would go, oh my God, can we go make a salad to like at 12 o'clock at night, or you know, one o'clock in the morning, we'd be up in the kitchen making salads. That's kind of what I'm known for. So we actually do salad for dinner. So this is a dinner, but it's also a salad. You have your chicken, you have your salad. One of the things you want to remember is make sure you heat up your oil really well before you drop your chicken in. And that's simply because you don't want the, the oil to soak into the chicken. Instead, it gives that nice crispy coating on the outside when it's hot. And this is also one of the things I cannot live without when I'm frying. This is my screen that I put over top of my uh, pan. I don't know what they call it officially. A pan screen, that's what I call it. But it keeps the splatter from getting everywhere. I hate when I clean my stove and then I turn around and there's splatters everywhere. So this is gonna cook for a few minutes on each side. While that's cooking, I'm gonna show you what I put in my salad. Now, because it's a salad, you can choose to put anything that you want in it, but I try to keep the Asian flair. So I go with snow peas, I put tomatoes. These are actually English, not Asian, but English cucumbers. These cucumbers are the ones that they call seedless. Even though they have little baby seeds in them, the skin is so soft that you can eat the skin without feeling like it's a tough skin. It's very soft. And they come in the cellophane wrappers. So when you look at them, you'll see them in the store in the cellophane wrappers. I love radishes, my fave. And then I use yellow peppers. And you put it all in your salad. I always put a nut in my salad. And the base of my salad to give it bulk is romaine lettuce. But I also love the organic greens with the little herbs and, and all the different kinds of uh, baby green lettuces. So I add that as well. They have more nutrition in them as well. So I try to keep everything with as much nutrition as I possibly can. And when the time comes, I'll mix that all up. And I'll come back in a few minutes and make the dressing. Okay, so once the chicken cutlets are done, and of course, I make a mess. No matter how hard I try not to. I just use paper towels to soak up all the excess oil. And I don't know if I mentioned or not, but I realized when I started making this a long time ago that the sesame seeds are expensive if you just buy them in the little spice area. So I go to the bakery. My grandmother taught me this, Grandma Jenny. She used to make sesame cookies. And she would go to the bakery section of the food store and buy them in bulk. And they just put them in a container for her. So see if your food store will do that for you if you have to buy them and you buy them in the little spice section. Because you get so much more for your money. And I also use the whole wheat breadcrumbs. I love the ones that are the 4C, 4C breadcrumbs. But they're 100% whole wheat. And they're, they're like more crispy than the regular ones. So they're really good no matter what I fry. I use the whole wheat breadcrumbs for that as well. Once your chicken's done, and while the chicken was cooking, I put together my salad with all my vegetables in it, and now we're going to make the dressing. Uh, for the dressing, 
It really is just canola oil because it's very little flavor and that's what I want in this particular dressing. Now I always make extra dressing just in case. So I'll probably make about, um, I guess, I'll make a cup and a half. That way I have it for leftovers or for during the week at any time. It's, the dressing is really good. Anytime I've ever seen any recipes for Asian style dressing, it always ends up that they put sugar in it. So right now I just put a cup and a half of oil and a cup and a half of distilled white vinegar, just white vinegar, it doesn't matter what kind of white vinegar it is. Cheap ShopRite brand white vinegar, it's like a dollar or something, really inexpensive. Um, so anytime I've seen Asian dressings, they always have some sugar in them. So I put a little sugar in mine just because that's what they do and it's maybe like, maybe a table, two tablespoons I'll say because I, I put a lot of dressing this time. And whenever I think of Asian, I also think of ginger. So I buy the ginger, this is that Christopher Ranch brand again, that's already chopped and ready to go. Did you ever try to chop or grate fresh ginger? It's a pain in the butt. Best way to do it is use a potato peeler. However, I can't be bothered, so I buy this. And I'll say I use about a teaspoon, maybe, maybe two teaspoons. A little salt. And then my favorite little this is special, isn't it? Look at it, it's a little tiny whisk. But I purposely put it in this bowl because I wanna to try to dissolve the sugar. I also add in one red hot chili pepper. It's really a half of one and it has no seeds in it. So it's a little bit of the flavor. Maybe there's a couple of seeds in it, but this is the hot, same red hot chili peppers that Joey Gorgas Daddy gave me that I still have and I keep and I use for everything. Tupperware is the best invention since sliced bread but I put all of my dressing in and then I just shake it up. Now after your dressing is shaken up well, now you wanna shake it well because you wanna make sure that the sugar gets dissolved. That's why I put it in, in the container to shake it. And then taste it, you can adjust it to your liking. If you like it a little bit more soury from the vinegar, add a little bit more vinegar. If you want a little bit more ginger, add a little bit more ginger. If you don't like the little bit of spice, just leave out the hot pepper. So here's your dressing. I pour it over top of the salad, mix it up a little bit. Always a ton of leftover dressing, and then my family loves to put it in on the sides. And then we put the chicken right on top, and you have dinner. And it's delicious, it's our favorite. A little bit of vegetables. And I pretty much never make a salad without putting some sort of nuts. So I have my almond accents, anything that makes it easier. And I put them along the side because I like the crunch. Yeah, that's it, Asian sesame chicken. Don't forget to listen to The Ordinary and Extraordinary on notsosoccermomradio.com. I forgot to put my apron on earlier and I started getting splashed. That's why I have it on now. Don't forget it's at 1 o'clock Eastern and it runs all day. Thanks for watching.